Well, it's a nice spring afternoon um, here in Warsaw. Spring has truly sprung. These are the what the willows have to say about it. The willows are all out in catkins. The cats are all out in willowkins. And uh, magpies are looking particularly lovely. I reached for my camera because there was a magpie near me. But of course the magpie, by the time I got my camera out, was already enjoying the next phase of its existence. As in not being near me, but being near something else instead. Um, the uh, courtyards of slightly older kind of flats, I think it was about 50, 60 years old, not far from uh, our house. Um, quite all nice and green and yellow with the forsyth here and now in flower. There's also a nice lots of that around here. You can never tell which bushes are forsyth here during the rest of the year because they're so nondescript, so ordinary looking once the, uh, once the yellow flower is gone. But they certainly are one of my favourites because they're always a kind of like herald of spring. You know that winter's over and the spring is here. Once you see that colour, that's one thing that I like. It's like a kind of you know, it's a milestone of the year for me to watch the Forsythia come out or, or to see Forsythia which is out and every year I notice it. So there you are, a lot of things have got leaves on that didn't have leaves on two weeks ago when I was last here. And there's the Forsythia, it was already coming out then, it's out in force now. Um, was well, well, I've always wanted, I've actually done it once, uh, one time, but uh, the Forsythia tree which I managed to make, actually my, it was my mother-in-law that nicked some twigs off a neighbour's one, stuck them in water, got them rooting. Um, whenever I've tried it since, it hasn't worked. But the one, one of the ones which my mother-in-law nicked and we got rooting is, is still a tree in my mother's front garden and a very nice big one it is but I haven't managed to repeat that trick um, mind you my mother-in-law the mother of my first wife she could do all sorts of funny th weird things like that she was a bit of a well I don't want to say the W word because uh, it might offend some people that might be listening but uh, she certainly knew some magic put it that way Dobry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> now Sophie goes to boarding school, she doesn't see her brother at weekends because he goes off to uh, board with uh, friends at weekends to have some fun in the forest. So he's come for a while today so they can both have a bit of catch up time. <laughs> so she hasn't seen him for a long time. <laughs> I'm going. Brother and sister, there you go. He's almost as big as her now. He just keeps growing and growing, that little boy. What about your cat, George? Hasn't your cat come to see you? Where's Pushkin? Pushki? That's because he's afraid of you. Do you want to show your hair to the ladies and gentlemen? No. You don't. Uh, you don't want to have it there for posterity? No. Okay, all right then. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I'll put myself up for posterity. How about that? <sighs> and I've probably got some flakes thanks to the aeroplane. So you pick up these things. Uh, it's not the aeroplane than in taxis. So this is a lovely terrace. Doing what am I doing? I'm doing Turkish, the GL Lewis book, which is a nice old, old style teach yourself with the gold list. Head listing it. Got a huge cup of coffee which is nearly finished. 
And that's what it's like on the uh, on planet here on the 12th of April. <laughs> What's this shit? <coughs> Let's move slightly off the uh, curve because the tram's coming. down there. This <laughs> unexpected like an unexpected tram. You can sit on that bit because that's where the kids all sit.